And I suppose my identification of technocracy has a lot to do with that because you have to look at the bigger picture and how we got here to understand what really is a part and what isn't a part. Mm -hmm. The original technocracy documents from the 30s had provisions for uh, what they call functional sequences in, in government, governance, not government, governance, the management of society. A functional sequence was uh, some common uh, area in society that needs to be managed by a central authority. Healthcare would be a good example of a, of a functional sequence. Manufacturing uh, would be a functional sequence. Uh, education they called a service sequence because it wasn't making anything, it was a, it was a service provided. But they specified all this stuff originally. And education, for instance, is a fundamental part of technocracy. They called it a system of continental conditioning. <laughs> That was their view of education. Well, I thought education was about learning things and learning how to be, you know, think critically and reason things out. I said, no, not that may be true for you and I, but it wasn't for them. For them, it was just just a matter of conditioning. And I'm sure when they wrote that, they were thinking of they had Pavlov in mind with his conditioning, his you know, the animals to drool when they ring a bell. That's really all education to them really was important for. And that's what we see in Common Core today. It's the same kind of thing. It's a system of human conditioning. It's not a system of education. Um, <clears throat> you have smart grid, um, the, the idea of putting these meters and stuff on people's uh, and businesses to, uh, to control the energy um, that is consumed within those facilities. This is an original specification of, of technocracy from the 1930s. Um, you have the massive surveillance that's going on today with a total awareness society. This was an original specification from technocracy in the 1930s. You cannot manage what you cannot monitor. That's an engineer's mindset. People need to think like engineers. You can't manage what you cannot monitor, can't control it. So you have to manage it. Well, what do you need to, what do you need to monitor? Well, I need data. That's what they'll say. Well, we have to have data. Well, what kind of data do you need? Well, I need everything. <laughs> I just, how much data is enough? Well, there's no such thing. It's the, the, there's never enough data. You always need more data. So well, what do you need? What kind of data do you need? Well, we need, uh, for, if it's an economic system we're managing, we need to have all the financial records. We need to know what's in people's minds psychologically, you know, what they what they're, want to buy, what they want to do with their lives. We need to have all their health records because, you know, that's important to manage the, the health of the society. Uh, they need all the education records, like Common Core collects 400 data points on students now, becomes a permanent part of their record forever. Uh, it'll follow them until they die. All of these things come from the same source. They were all specified and talked about in the Agenda 21 document that was produced by the Rio Conference.